Hello class, welcome to today's session. Lesson 12, FX Theories, Agenda Setting Theory. Introduction, Communication Theories are frameworks that help us understand how communication processes work, why they happen and how they can be improved. Objectives, Understanding Agenda Setting Theory, Analyzing Levels of Agenda Setting, Adapting Agenda Setting Theory to Digital Era. Pros and Cons of Agenda Setting Theory Communication Theories Cultural Studies and Critical Theories These theories influenced by scholars like Stuart Hall and Birmingham School focuses on the role of power, ideology and culture in shaping communication. They highlight how media and communication can reflect and reinforce societal power structures. FX Theories FX theory in communication studies focuses on understanding the impact of media messages on individuals and society. It explores how exposure to media content influences attitudes, beliefs, behaviors and perceptions. Normative theories. These theories are frameworks that provide guidelines or standards for how media should ideally operate within a society. These theories often offer normative judgments on the role of media in promoting certain values, behaviors or principles. Media Ecology Theory McLuhan 1964 Marshall McLuhan's theory explores how media shape and influence human perception, understanding and interaction. The famous phrase the medium is the message encapsulates the idea that the form of media itself influences how the content is perceived. Let's understand about FX theories. Power of media influence. FX theories posit that media have the potential to influence individuals and society at large. This influence may manifest in changes in behavior opinions or the way people perceive the world. Direct and indirect effects. Some early theories such as hypodermic needle model suggest a direct and powerful influence of media on individuals. Linking it to magic bullet injection ideas directly into the audience. However, later theories like the two-step flow model and agenda setting theory introduced more nuanced perspectives emphasizing indirect effects and role of interpersonal communication in mediating media influence. Selective exposure and perception. The selective exposure theory suggests that individuals are not passive recipients of media messages but actively choose the media they consume. Additionally, the selective perception theory argues that individuals interpret and understand messages in ways that align with their existing beliefs and attitudes. Cultivation theory developed by George Gerbener Cultivation theory focuses on the long-term effects of television on viewers' perception of reality. It suggests that prolonged exposure to certain messages, especially in fictional programming, can shape individuals' perceptions of the world, influencing their beliefs about crime, violence and societal norms. Agenda Setting Theory This theory proposed by Maxwell McCombs and Donald Shah posits that media doesn't necessarily tell people what to think but rather what to think about. Media can shape the public agenda by emphasizing certain issues, influencing what people consider important. Spiral of Silence Theory proposed by Elizabeth Nolle. This theory explains how individuals are hesitant to express opinions that they perceive as unpopular. Media plays a role in shaping the perceived majority opinion, leading to a spiral where minority views are silenced. Uses and gratification theory. Unlike traditional FX theory that focuses on what media do to people, uses and gratification theory emphasizes what people do with media. 
It suggests that individuals actively choose media to fulfill certain needs such as information, entertainment, personal identity or social integration. FX theories have evolved over time incorporating insights from various disciplines including psychology, sociology and cultural studies. While acknowledging the potential impact of media, contemporary scholars often emphasize the complexity of media effects, considering individual differences, social context and the dynamic nature of communication processes. Let us now understand about agenda setting theory in detail. Agenda setting theory is a communication theory that originated in the 1960s and was introduced by Maxwell McCombs and Donald Shah. This theory explores the relationship between media and public agenda examining how the media's selection and coverage of issues influence the public perception of what is important. There are two major types of agenda setting. Media agenda, the set of issues and topics that media covers emphasizing certain subjects over others. Public agenda, the set of issues and topics that public perceives as important influenced by media coverage. Now let us know what are two levels of agenda settings. Level 1 of agenda setting, this level refers to the media ability to draw attention to specific issues and topics shaping the public agenda by deciding what information is presented and how prominently it is featured. Example, farmers protests. In 20 and 21, the farmers protests in India garnered significant attention from the media both nationally and internationally. The agitation primarily centered around the farm laws introduced by the government became a major focus of news coverage. Various media outlets extensively reported on the protests featuring stories, interviews and analysis. At the impact of this is, the media coverage elevated the salience of the farmers' protests, making it a prominent issue on the national agenda. Public discourse and conversations were influenced by the media coverage with increased awareness and discussions about the concerns raised by the protesting farmers. Second level of agenda setting. Beyond the mere transfer of salience, the second level involves the media influencing the perceived attributes and characteristics of the issues. For example, the media not only tells people what to think about but also how to think about. Example, COVID-19 pandemic. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the media not only highlighted the severity of the health crisis but also framed it in various ways influencing public perception beyond the simple acknowledgement of its existence. Healthcare system was overwhelmed and media coverage emphasizing the strain of healthcare systems, lack of medical resources and challenges faced by the frontline workers framed the pandemic as a crisis impacting the health infrastructure. Another framing focused on the economic impact covering stories about job losses, economic downturns and the struggles faced by the businesses and individuals. Media also framed the pandemic in terms of government actions, criticizing or praising policies, lockdown measures and vaccination drives. Impact The framing influenced public understanding and emotions about the pandemic, shaping perceptions of its severity impact on daily life and the effectiveness of government responses. Different media outlets framed the pandemic in distinct ways, contributing to varied public interpretations. These examples illustrate how the media in India, through its coverage and framing, can set the agenda by deciding which issues receive attention and how those issues are presented to the public. The role of media in shaping public awareness and perception is evident in these instances of agenda setting. How does agenda setting theory impact daily life? 
agenda setting theory has a profound impact on daily life by shaping public discourse, influencing political decisions, molding societal values and affecting various aspects of individuals lives through the media selection and prioritizing of issues. Media influence on public opinion. The media has the power to prioritize certain issues over others, influencing public opinion on what is important and what isn't. Daily exposure to specific topics in media can shape individuals' beliefs, attitudes and perceptions about various issues. Political agenda Agenda setting is particularly evident in politics where the media can influence which political issue gain prominence and public attention. Political agendas are often set by media coverage impacting the decisions voters make during elections and shaping the priorities of political leaders. Social and cultural impact media coverage can shape societal norms values and cultural attitudes by highlighting specific issues and downplaying others. The public may become more aware of and concerned about certain social issues based on media coverage leading to increased activism or changes in behavior. Business and economic impact media coverage can influence economic trends and consumer behavior by emphasizing certain economic issues or crisis. Businesses may be affected by media's portrayal of economic conditions, impacting investment decisions, consumer confidence and overall market dynamics. Global Perspective Agenda setting extends beyond national borders, influencing how people perceive global issues, international conflicts, environmental concerns and global events gain prominence based on media coverage, shaping public opinion and influencing international relations. Technology and social media with the rise of social media, individuals have become content creators contributing to agenda setting process. Social media platforms amplify certain issues through user generated content further influencing public discourse on a global scale. Filter bubbles and selective exposure. Individuals may unknowingly be exposed to a limited range of perspectives due to algorithmic filtering of social media platforms creating filter bubbles. This selective exposure can reinforce pre-existing beliefs and limit exposure to alternative viewpoints affecting how individuals perceive the agenda setting process. Agenda setting theory and media. The theory posits that the media doesn't tell people what to think but rather what to think about. In other words, the media's role is to set agenda by determining which issues and topics are considered important, influencing the public's perception of reality. Agenda setting theory suggests that the media has the power to shape the public agenda by highlighting certain issues and downplaying others. It operates on the assumption that the more attention the media gives to a particular issue, the more importance audience will attach to it. Media selection of issues. Media organizations act as gatekeepers, deciding which story and issues receive coverage. Editorial decisions, news values and societal norms influence the selection of topics that make it to the news. Agenda setting and public opinion. The theory suggests a strong correlation between the media agenda and the public agenda. As the media emphasizes certain issues, these issues gain prominence in public's perception influencing their opinions and attitudes. Political agenda setting. Agenda setting is particularly relevant in political realm. Media coverage can influence which political issues gain attention during elections, shaping public discourse and impacting voters' decisions. Agenda setting in digital era. With the advent of internet and social media, the agenda setting process has evolved. Online platforms and algorithms play a role in determining the content users are exposed to 
creating new challenges and opportunities for agenda setting. Effects on society and culture The media's agenda setting power extends to shaping societal norms, cultural values and public perceptions of various issues. It contributes to construction of social reality by influencing what is deemed important and relevant in given society. Gatekeeping and Framing Agenda setting theory is closely related to the concept of gatekeeping, deciding what gets through and framing how issues are presented. Media organizations not only choose which issues to cover but also frame them in a way that influences public interpretation. Public reaction and feedback loop. While media influences the public agenda, public reactions and feedback can in turn influence media coverage. The relationship between media and the public agenda is dynamic and interactive. Digital Era and Agenda Setting Theory Accelerated Information Flow Traditional Media versus Digital Media In Digital Era, information dissemination is faster and more widespread compared to traditional media. Digital platforms, social media, blogs and online news sources enable real-time sharing and instant access to information. User generated content, shift in gatekeeping. Traditional gatekeepers that are media editors are now joined by everyday users who create and share content online. User generated content on social media platforms contribute to the agenda setting process. Personalized content delivery, algorithms and filter bubbles. Digital platforms use algorithms to personalize content based on user preferences and behavior. This can create filter bubbles where individuals are exposed to information that aligns with their existing beliefs, limited exposure to diverse perspectives. Citizen journalism and activism, empowerment of individuals. The digital era allows ordinary citizens to report and share news, contributing to a more diverse range of voices. Social media facilitates the rapid spread of grassroots movements and activism. Rise of virality and trending topics. Social media platforms play a crucial role in determining what becomes viral or trending topic. Virality can elevate certain issues to forefront of public attention influencing the overall agenda. Multiple news sources and fragmentation. Digital platforms provide access to a multitude of news sources leading to a more fragmented media landscape. Users can choose from various sources potentially reinforcing existing beliefs or seeking diverse perspectives. Interactive audience engagement. Audience in the digital era actively engage with the content through comments, shares and likes. This engagement can influence the visibility of perceived importance of specific issues. Misinformation and disinformation. The digital era brings challenges related to misinformation and disinformation. False or misleading information can quickly spread and shape public perceptions, impacting the agenda setting process. Globalization of information. Digital platforms enable the rapid exchange of information on a global scale. Global events and issues can gain prominence in agenda setting processes transcending national boundaries. Constant news cycle and information overload. The digital era has created an attention economy where capturing and maintaining attention is crucial. The constant flow of information can lead to information overload, making it challenging for certain issues to sustain public attention. Data analytics and audience understanding. Media organizations use data analytics to understand audience preferences and tailor content accordingly. This strategic approach can influence the issues that media outlets prioritize in their coverage. Ethical considerations. 
the digital era raises ethical considerations related to the responsible use of data, combating misinformation and ensuring a balanced representation of diverse perspectives. Advantages of Agenda Setting Theory Agenda setting theory have several advantages and is considered influential in understanding the relationship between the media and public perception. Understanding media influence, agenda setting theory helps in comprehending the significant role that media plays in shaping public perception. It highlights how the media influences the issues people consider important by controlling the information flow. Media agenda versus public agenda. The theory distinguishes between the media agenda and the public agenda, emphasizing that the media does not tell people what to think but rather what to think about. This differentiation provides a nuanced perspective on the media's impact of public opinion. Predictive power. Agenda setting research has demonstrated a strong correlation between the issues emphasized by the media and the issues perceived as important by the public. The predictive power is valuable for the media researchers, policy makers and communication professionals. Political implications. The theory is particularly relevant in the political context as it helps in understanding how the media shapes political agendas. It sheds light on the impact of media coverage on elections, political campaigns and public policy. Public awareness and social issues. Agenda setting theory contributes to raising public awareness of social issues by highlighting them in the media. It can lead to increased public engagement, activism and discussions surrounding important societal matters. Media Literacy Understanding agenda setting theory enhances media literacy by encouraging individuals to critically evaluate the information presented in the media. It prompts audience to be aware of media's role in shaping perceptions and agendas. Research and academic insights. The theory has spurred extensive research in the field of media studies, communication and political science. It provides a framework for studying the effects of media content on public opinion contributing to academic understanding of media effects. Adaptability to digital media. The theory remains relevant in the digital era adapting to changes in media consumption patterns and rise of online platforms. It can be applied to analyze the impact of social media, user generated content and algorithmic filtering on the public agenda. Policy and decision making. Policy makers can benefit the agenda setting theory by understanding how media coverage influences public perception of policy issues. It can inform strategic communication effects that help policy makers address issues that are salient to the public. Awareness of media bias. The theory draws attention to the potential bias in media coverage, encouraging audience to be mindful of the framing and selection of issues. The awareness fosters a more discerning and critical approach to consuming news. Challenges of agenda setting theory. Assumption of passive audience. Critics argue that agenda setting theory assumes a passive audience that is easily influenced by media. This perspective overlooks the active role that individuals play in selecting, interpreting and resisting media messages. Limited exploration of media power. Some scholars contend that the theory focuses primarily on the media's power to shape public agendas and neglect other forms of power dynamic within society. It does not delve deeply into how certain groups or institutions influence media content. Selective perception and interpretation. Critics argue that individuals do not always adopt the media's agenda as their own and selective perception and interpretation play a significant role. 
audience may filter information based on pre-existing beliefs, values and attitudes. Neglect of cultural and social context, the theory tends to overlook the cultural and social context in which media operates. It may not fully consider how cultural factors, historical context and social structures influence the agenda setting process. Influence of non-media factors. Critics also argue that agenda setting theory may overstate the media's influence while downplaying the impact of non-media factors on public agendas. Social, economic and political forces outside of the media sphere also contribute to shaping public perceptions. Two-step flow model. The original agenda setting theory proposed a linear model suggesting that media directly influences the public. The two-step flow model challenges this linear approach by introducing opinion leaders who mediate the influence between media and the public. Issue ownership and salience. The theory assumes that the media dictates which issues are salient. But some critics argue that certain issues are owned by specific interest groups, political actors or societal elites. These actors may have a more direct role in setting the agenda for particular issues. Media fragmentation. While the rise of digital media, there is a greater fragmentation of media sources. The theory may struggle to account for the diversity of sources and potential for conflicting agendas in the digital age. Dynamic media landscape. The rapidly evolving media landscape with the emergence of new technologies and platforms poses challenges to traditional agenda setting models. The dynamics of social media, user generated content and algorithmic curation require a more nuanced understanding. Influence of social media algorithms. Agenda setting theory was developed in an era where traditional media gatekeepers played a prominent role. In the age of social media, algorithms also play a significant role in content distribution potentially shaping public agendas in ways not fully addressed by traditional agenda setting models. Globalization and cross-cultural variations. The theory may not fully account for cross-cultural variations and the impact of globalization on agenda setting processes in different regions of the world. Summary. This lesson provided a comprehensive exploration of agenda setting theory, a seminal communication theory introduced by Maxwell, McCombs and Donald Shah. It highlighted the distinction between the media agenda and public agenda, emphasizing the media's role in shaping what the public considers important. Overall, Learners gained insights into how media shapes public discourse, influences political decisions and moulds societal values through agenda setting process. Thank you students.